And welcome back, everybody. Okay, so in the last video, we were talking about arithmetic sequences and series and the interim formulas and what they're used for. In this video, we're going to take a look at um, a different type of question where we're being asked to sum one of them up. And let's get right to it. And I've got one made here. All right, so this thing's asking us, it says, find the sum of the first 20 terms. Now, in the last video, we worked with this, this sequence and we found that it was arithmetic. Um, you need to check and see what type you've got. It's going to determine the formula you use and how you treat this thing, okay? So it's arithmetic. We, we know it's going down by 4. And I'm going to go to my formula sheet here. And this was on the AFM exam. We would have this sheet. And we're looking here. And this is a summing formula. And remember, S denotes sum. And it says, find S sub 20. We want to know what the 20th term sum is. So we plug in 20 for n. S sub 20, 20 over 2. And then we would also have to find a sub 20, which we did in the last video. So we may go back there and, and do it by hand. But I want to talk about doing it a different way first. Um, personally, if I'm doing this problem, I'm going to use my technology, quite frankly. And um, I've already loaded this app, and I showed you how to do it in one of our videos. And it was still linked into the home page. Um, so to sum this thing up with a calculator, you need to use your go to your math menu, hit the math button, and then you're going to scroll down to zero or just plug in zero, and then it brings your sum right up. All right, now it's using variable x because I'm in function mode. We're going to start at the first term. We want to add up to the 20th. Okay, now what goes in here is that expression you came up with for the nth term. Now we have a simplified version of negative 4n minus 9, if you remember from the last video, or we could put in the original form, um, which was negative 13, and this didn't require any simplifying, minus 4 times x minus 1. Close. All right, now that right there should give me the sum of the first 20 terms. And we find that the sum of the first 20 terms is negative 1,020. Not too bad. Uh, what's nice about that, we didn't have to find the nth term formula to do it. Okay, so imagine that being a step that would sort of be embedded in here. Um, if we had to do this by hand using their formula, We'd have to say, well, n over 2, which would be 10. That really wouldn't be too awfully bad, would it? Uh, let's, let's see here. We'd have 10, 20 over 2, which is 10. Well, let's do it a little bit. Equation editor to look a little better. So we'd have 10 times a sub 1, which is negative 13. All right. And then if you go look at your formula, it says plus a sub n. Now, a sub n, we found, we found was negative 89. So it would be minus 89, and we close that up, and when you calculate that out, you should get the same thing. And yeah, do. So that would work itself out, too. So doing that by hand is not too bad. The problem that makes it a little bit slow is finding that nth term, which we did in a previous video. So, I mean, you know, take your pick. I personally use the technology and knock it right out because we're allowed to, okay? All right, next. Let's take a look at um, another problem here. This is find the sum of the first 15. Well, this is a geometric sequence, and they were asking me to sum up a geometric series. Um, again, you'd have to test it, see what type it is, classify it, see your arithmetic geometric. This would be uh, geometric. And we'll go to our formula sheet first. Um, we look here. We're looking at a partial sum. We haven't talked about this third one yet. Now we're going to get into that tomorrow. But this one, we can find the sum of the first 15 terms. But again, I'm, I'm telling you, I prefer the calculator. I'm going to do it first that way. And we'll clear this guy out and get me another one. If I'm going to sum this thing up, I'll go to my math menu, get my sum. I'm going to start with the first term again. 
I think we said it was up to the 15th, some of the first 15, and we're going to plug our formula in. And if you remember what the formula was, I think it was 2 times 3, close it, raise that to the x minus 1. And that's it. This thing's ready to go. And that's a big number, you know, um, 14,348,906, but no problem for this technology, okay? Now, let's do it by hand. You know, doing this by hand with their sum formula is, and it really isn't that big of a deal when you're using a calculator anyway, so it might not be any any slower just to use their formula. Let's, let's check it out and see. I'll just put the calculator back up here and we'll use it. Okay, so if we clear this out to use the calculator, and that's, the nice thing is this doesn't have an A sub N in it, so it's a little bit better. And I'm going to use that template. If you remember, alpha Y equals gets me that template that's kind of nice. And we're going to put in the first term of the sequence, which was 2 times um, 1 minus r raised to the n. Boy, that's a big number there. And we'll arrow over, close that parenthesis, then we're going to hop to the denominator here, and we're going to put in 1 minus r, which we know is negative 2, but just to be careful, and there's that same number. So you can do it both ways. Um, one way I think is, I honestly think the other way is a little faster, but Either one. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget, check your um, Canvas page daily. Our conference hours are 1.30 to 2, Monday through Thursday. And, and seriously, send me a message if you need a different time or something like that. If you need some extra help, I'm, I'm definitely willing to do that. Um, I know these things are not easy to work on for some, some of us. And, you know, we'll get through all of this mess we're in, guys. Hang in there, stay safe, um, wash your hands, I'll see you tomorrow.